all kinds enrich our lives. They can be our friends or inspire our imaginations. Whether it's a pet such as a dog, a domesticated animal like a cow, or even a wild animal like a moose or a bear. All animals deserve kindness from humans. But sadly, all over the world, animals are facing neglect, meaning they're not being well taken care of. They are facing cruelty, meaning that they're being mistreated or even used to test products. And worst of all, they are facing extinction meaning that they're being hunted down to alarming numbers or have their habitats forcefully taken away so they can no longer survive. This is just alarming and so unfair. Animals don't have a say in how they are being treated. They don't have a voice. They rely on us to make these all-important decisions for them which is why each one of us, every single one of us, has a responsibility to do our part to make this world a kinder place for animals. Ever since I was little, I've had a soft spot in my heart for animals. From the cute doggy I always played with, the small birds that fluttered around my neighborhood. I was always fascinated by them. I wished to have my very own dog, but my mom resisted, as we didn't have much space in our home. So I played with my neighbor's pets instead. My mom's friend had a toy poodle named Stern. I loved playing with him. When the family moved back to China, I kept a painting of him hanging in my room to remind me of our amazing times together. Being around animals is such a therapy on its own. They're just so happy to be with you and they have this healing power to lift you up when you're feeling down. I loved spending time with animals. Two years ago at summer camp, the organizers took us to volunteer at SBCA, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or SBC for short. It's a common name for nonprofit animal welfare organizations across the world. They help prevent cruelty to animals, but more importantly, they rescue animals and provide them with a clean space and healthy food. We learned about rescuing animals and even rescued a few of them during my time there. We learned how to clean them, feed them, and help them if they're hurt. I especially loved playing with them. And it wasn't just the dogs. I spent time with cats, guinea pigs, bunnies, and rats. Yes, rats. They were all so adorable, even the rats. <laughs> rats are fascinating. For instance, did you know that just two rats can populate into more than 1,000 babies in one year's time? No wonder we have so many rats around the world. At the SBCA, I got the chance to take care of a pair of rats, giggles and ashes. They loved cereal, and I liked to feed it to them. One day while I was cleaning their cage, Giggles escaped. We all started chasing him, but of course, we can catch him. In the end, he went back to his cage because that was where his food was. Spending time at the SBCA really opened up my eyes. I realized that animals don't have a voice. They can't tell us if they're hungry, unhappy, or hurt inside. We are the ones that need to speak up for them. I decided to be that voice for them. For one of our school assignments, I did a SAFE project, S-A-F-E for Saving Animals from Extinction. While researching, I learned the World Wildlife Fund, WWF, lists 28 animals as endangered, meaning they could become extinct in the near future and an additional 17 species as critically endangered, meaning they face an extremely high risk of disappearing forever soon. Critically endangered animals include the black rhinoceros, the orangutan, and the vaquita. If you haven't heard of a vaquita before, 
It's a marine mammal, much like a porpoise, and it lives in the Gulf of Mexico. Today, there are no more than nine of them. Yes, nine of them that exist. This is very sad and alarming. I wanted to do something, anything to help. So I started using my voice to reach as many people as I could. That's when I came across a bill called the Jane Goodell Act, proposed by Senator Murray Sinclair. Senator Sinclair has been advocating for animal rights for a very long time. He sponsored a bill to end whale and dolphin captivity, which became law in June 2019. And now he's trying to provide the same protection for great apes and elephants. The Jingodel Act will ban the new captivity of great apes and elephants, and it will also ban animal performances for entertainment purposes. This act will also give legal standings to these animals, and also cetaceans, which are whales, dolphins, and porpoises, recognizing them as individuals rather than property. This was amazing. Finally, we can start accepting that animals don't belong in zoos or circuses, and they have interests that can be protected by the law. Naturally, I became quite interested in it and talked about it with one of my teachers. She knew I was passionate about animal welfare, so she suggested that I write an email to them and ask for more information. And so I did. I emailed the Jingle Dell Institution to ask some questions. I knew they might not reply, but if I didn't try, I wouldn't even have a chance at all. In the email, I introduced myself, told them about my love for animals and the safe project I did in school. I also mentioned I was extremely excited for the bill and supported it greatly. To my surprise, I was soon contacted by Roots and Shoots. It's the Jingle Dolls Youth Led Global Action Program. It helps young people become the informed generation the world needs. The manager told me she would love to do a presentation for me and my SIP club members. She also said she could give me and my SIP club members a free ticket to the Jingo Dell The Hope presentation. I was so excited. I immediately emailed back to read your time for the presentation. I can't pass this one up. This was an amazing opportunity to learn more and to be involved in something which I truly cared about. Then I also emailed the office of Senator Murray Sinclair. To my surprise, they also replied. They told me they were glad I supported their bill and asked if I wanted the chance to talk to the senator, which I obviously accepted. <laughs> oh, wow. It's interesting how far you can go if you just reach out and try. I am so glad to be a part of the Jingle Dell Act. It is something which I truly believe in. I can't wait for those in power to realize that animals need to be protected and to, and to introduce bills and laws to protect endangered animals and ban any testing done on them. But it isn't just up to leaders, organizations, and senators. It's up to you and me, too. All of us should be safeguarding the interests of animals. And we can start by simply acknowledging that animals have feelings. You can look at a dog's face or tail to tell when he's happy, sad, or worried. Just like us, their emotional states are easily recognizable. Animals can also show care for their family, friends, and community just like we do. They can even more the passing of a fellow animal in their group. By caring for our pets and respecting them in the wild, we can show our kindness to any animal. And when we show that we care, we encourage others to do the same thing too. Secondly, if you have a pet, or if you're thinking of getting a pet, please be a responsible and considerate pet owner. Know that they're not only tiny bundles of joy for us to play with. They don't exist for our entertainment. They have emotions and feelings that we can nurture or damage through our actions. And please don't buy them from a pet store. Pet stores often get their puppies from puppy mills. It's an inhuman dog breeding facility that delivers puppies to a store for a profit, ignoring the needs of the pups and their mothers. Adopt them from a shelter instead. There are so many good ones who crave a good home. 
rescue them and give them a second chance at love. And lastly, let's speak up and use our voice. Animals don't have a voice. We have to be their voice. Let's stop animal cruelty. If you see something, say something, do something. Let's stop animal testing. Don't be a part of that abuse. Buy products that are cruelty free and free of animal testing. And let's support our school, community and city in projects and events that are in the interests of animals. Think about the animals who are facing neglect, cruelty, and extinction, who are hurt, threatened, and powerless to do anything. It's never too early or too late to be involved, to show you care, to do something. Together, let's help rescue and foster millions of animals that enter shelters every year. Together, let's educate others about how animals are facing extinction. Together, let's show others how to care and respect animals. Let's be their voice. Thank <laughs> you.